In this video, pretty much everything you need to know how to change the engine oil on Miller welder generator. This is Bobcat 225G. Yeah, it's a great machine, never let me down. I have been using for 10 years, always ready to rock. And this welder generator equipped with a twin cylinder on an Performer 16XSL gasoline engine. Yeah, I will show you everything. What oil to use, filters, how much oil, change intervals, and we'll go step by step and get this welder service and good for another season for the summer. Yeah, let's get started. And first step, let's warm up the engine oil to the operating temperature. Let's start the welder. Always starts good. Safety first, as usual, there's our oil filler cap with a dipstick. Same time, let's take it out like that, crack it, let the air get in, or faster, better drain. This is our engine oil filter, nice and hot. Engine is warmed up, and here's our drain plug. Let's undo that. And my container ready to catch the used oil. 21 mil socket. Let's crack the plug loose. There we go. Nice. All right. And let's remove the plug and dump the oil. Here we go. Oil nice and hot. Take your time. Let the oil to drain completely. Engine oil is drained out. As you can see, let's just put a rug here. I'm going to apply Teflon tape to the threads, make sure I won't have any leaks from the drain plug. Yeah, and put the plug back. Let's remove the engine oil filter. I'm going to use the pipe pliers, they work great. All right, let's grab the filter and spin it counterclockwise. Lift our pan up to collect the oil, what will come out from the filter. Got the filter loose. Let's just put this container underneath. If you want to spill the oil, as you can see it's coming. Let it drain. And what do we have? We have Fram, you're right, orange filter. And this is a Fram Extra Guard PH3600 double zero. All right, the rubber gasket is on a filter. That's good. Okay, put the filter aside. We don't need it. And very important part: make sure you don't have a gasket stuck to the oil filter housing might happen sometimes check that out as you can see it's nice and clean good well let's clean the oil drain scoop right here make sure it's nice and clean too like that apply some curl clean to the clean paper towel and wipe the housing very good replacement filter we're going to use the baldwin b243 nice red filter Made in USA. Here we go. Here's our bouldering. There's an important information on the side of the filter. Clean the housing. Loop the oil filter rubber o ring. Spin it by hand. When filter touches the base, touches lightly like that. You do one full turn, and uh, yeah, you don't have to pre-fill it. They tell you here and. Uh, 
no power tools, no any tools used to grab the filter to tie it up, it will damage the housing. Okay, let's uh, apply the clean, fresh engine oil to the rubber o-ring, just a little bit. Make sure this o-ring won't stuck next time to the oil filter housing. And uh, this filter is mounted horizontally, you cannot pre-fill. All right, and let's just call on the filter and uh, fill this for that. So I'll get started and uh, touches the base and I will make it one full turn. You don't need to go too crazy and strip it. The shreds, one full turn, oh, oil on my hands, doesn't help. There we go, that's good. Nice, tight. If you are not a subscriber, take a second to subscribe. Thank you so much. According to the manufacturer's recommendation, oil capacity is 1.75 quarts or 1.6 liter with the filter changed yeah and how often you have to change the oil in the filter dirty conditions 25 hours or less normal conditions every 50 hours very nice useful information located on the side of the engine yeah all right we're going to use my favorite oil lucas 5w30 full synthetic very good stuff, made in USA. Let's measure 1.6 liters. Have a measure in the bucket. 1.6, awesome. All right. Let's pull the dipstick out completely. Here we go, there's a full mark, there's a lower mark, and do not overfill. And to check the oil level, turn it tight yeah tight it up a cap and then you undo it and check it out all right let's put the oil in easy part let's take the cap off and the end and dump our oil 1.6 liters dump it okay come back no mess nice and clean our Oil filter is still empty. Let's measure the level. It will be a little bit higher than normal. And we're slightly over the full mark. Filter will take some. If this video is helpful, informational, educational, please put a thumbs up. I appreciated that. Now I'm going to fire up the engine. Idle for a couple minutes. Let engine oil to circulate through the oil system build up a filter and then shut it off let it sit oil will settle engine is warm we don't need a choke let's crank it over If you have any comments, critics, questions, suggestions, recommendations, put everything down in the comment section below under the video. Thank you so much guys for your time watching this video, appreciate it that. Yeah, keep your general changes up to the maintenance schedule, oil is cheap. Take care and see you in the next one.